and the rest of the Christian world doesn't really get it. I don't think our church gets the importance of what I'm going to talk about now. Hey guys, what if I were to tell you that the original Koine Greek, the first King James translation of the Bible, and the first prophet of the Book of Mormon all stated Jesus Christ was baptized in a place called Bethabara, but all the academics and the elites for the past 250 years that hated the Book of Mormon said it couldn't possibly be true until a certain man named Jim Gee found ancient maps of that land, Bethabara. Roll tape. Okay, so uh, what other uh, topics that we wanted to probably point out that tie the Book of Mormon to even the New Testament? is something very peculiar, and the rest of the Christian world doesn't really get it. I don't think our church gets the importance of what I'm going to talk about now. And that is when Lehi and Nephi, so there was two of them that had this same dream, that they saw the Savior of the world being baptized by a, one man named John, okay, John the Baptist. And Lehi noticed, I, I know that area. It is in Beth Bara. Well, why would he have recognized Beth Bara? And see, today everybody says that Jesus was baptized down by Jericho in a place called Bethany beyond Jordan, which couldn't be further from the truth. And then there's some that say we don't know exactly where Jesus was baptized, but we do because Lehi identified it as Beth Bar. Well, Beth Bar is mentioned one time in the Old Testament, and it's mentioned that it was in the lands of what? Manasseh. See, he was in Manasseh. He knew that place. It was actually a crossing on the Jordan River, but it was a village called Beth Bar, which means the place of the crossing, but it was on the eastern shores, not the west. And as I was looking for these maps on... Um, on uh, Nahum, I actually found this ancient map. No. But this is the oldest maps I have here. These are very fragile. I hard to even move them. They're almost from the Crusader period, okay? Whoa. They're one of the oldest paper maps available on the Middle East. I, I don't know of any other older. There may be that I don't know of, but I believe they are the oldest. And what this it comes in two parts. Of course, these were copper plated as well. Here we have the Sea of Galilee up here. Okay. And then have the Jordan River, of course, coming out, going yeah. all the way down to the Dead Sea. Well, you follow the Jordan River down, and these maps are made to hook together. They hook, yeah. See how they hook right there? Yeah, exactly. As you're coming right down, right here where they join, on the eastern shores, you can read it, Beth Bara. Whoa. <laughs> and it's on the exact description on that side. It identifies Beth Bara being not up there, not down here, like the, the uh, what I call the Byzantine location where Helen built churches there. Well, it was just a kind of convenience thing because it was along the pilgrim trail for early Christians. But it was, doesn't meet the description in the New Testament or the Book of Mormon being Beth Bara. Even the King James Version is the only one that takes it from the original Greek that said it was Beth Bara, not Bethany beyond Jordan. Beth Bara. Yeah. So it was, it's more of a correct translation from the Greek, the King James Version. But this shows that it was clear up here and this fits all the dis descriptions. So that is another testimony of the Book of Mormon. Because how would have Joseph Smith known the reality of Beth Bara? And now modern day archaeologists have been there. It's in the country of what is now known as Jordan because it's on that side of the river. The river is now the border between Israel and Jordan. And the archaeologists dug there. And sure enough, it's the Old Testament, Beth Bara, which was only mentioned one time in the Old Testament, but still gives us the location. It's in the land of Manasseh. Everything pinpoints back down to it. Uh, that, so on our LDS Bible maps, we should have this copy of this map, or at least show the proper location, because it's not, as our notes say, well, we don't really know. We do know. 
They just never ask someone that knows. Yeah, it, it's it's so much more in the zeitgeist of Christianity in general, and especially the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, uh, the historical locations of. Um, the last week of Jesus Christ, the birth of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem, so on and so forth. But I bet you if you asked the average member of our church, if not the average member of any church, hey, where was Jesus Christ baptized? We all know where he was born. We all know where he was crucified. But the baptism of Jesus Christ, I, I, none of us really pinpoint it in a geographical location. But we know exactly where it is. But we know exactly where it is. But uniquely, especially because of what Lehi says in the Book of Mormon right, and shows up on this map. Right. Again, testifying of the accuracy of his testimony. So, so your maps don't just prove that there's a physical lo location that is now an evidence of the Book of Mormon called Nehom, but these maps that you found also prove that in antiquity, there was this city called Bethbara Beth that was where Jesus Christ was baptized, that Lehi recognized, mm -hmm. and is pretty much a second evidence, you would say, would. of what Lehi said. Right. And they're found of the oldest maps, too. Now, the anvil, the famous one that has the Nahum as well, he did one of the he did one of the Middle East as well, a map of the Middle East, particular uh, Israel area, and he locates Bethbar in the exact same location as this map. But he could have used this map because it's it's three or four hundred years older than his map. Mm. Wow! Do you know what I'm might saying? Have been a source map for him. It was definitely a source map for him. Yeah. This is just right after the Crusaders, and you can see there's a lot of Crusader stuff on here. But Beth Bara, which was very important, was still located, and then D'Amble put it on his first map, of which was in the 1750s, of where Beth Bara was as well. So there's two testimonies. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Please make sure if you like this content that you have liked the video, that you are subscribed to our channel, and that you have pressed the alerts button to make sure that you get all of these upcoming videos we are doing with Jim Gee. Also, if you enjoy this content, please make sure that you send us a contribution through Venmo. It's how we keep things rolling here. We'll see you in the next program.